All right, so today's video, guys, I got a little treat for you. I got a package in the mail. It is off of Instagram. It's something I don't normally do, and it's not something I would recommend, but I went ahead and did it. I was bored. I had a little money in my pocket. So stay right there. Let me show you what I did and what I got. All right, guys, welcome back once again to the channel. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open. And like I said, this is off of Instagram. Uh, I play the game. It is something that is very popular on Instagram. Lots of people do it. What it is is you have a draw of 10 people. They put money in to play the game. And then they, the winners get picked randomly. And what happens is, is the random picker chooses who wins. And it's all recorded, so it, it it's, it's pretty legit. So, uh, the game was for $17. And what I ended up getting, and these are packaged really well. So, kudos to you, sir. Oh, it didn't send me no swag. Man bummer well anyway it was texascoins.net and let me get the first one out here we go Let's see if we can get this to focus here there we go Let's see if we can get that to stay right there that's number one and here is Number two, yes. So this is the 2013 Enhanced uh, Proof from the West Point Mint. Now, this is very similar to the Enhanced Reverse Proof from last year, but it's different. This is actually a proof, so just a little bit different. Now, what I'm going to do with these is... I'm not into collecting really. I'm more of a stacker. So here's the reverse proof. God, man, that's beautiful. Whew. So what I'm going to do is, is I want to take this is I want to see if I could turn this into more bullion. So like I said, I paid $17 for that. And then I also played another game. Didn't make out as good on that one. But I did win two more ounces. So pretty stoked about that and these are both 2009s and they are both in BU condition beautiful so let me go ahead and pause the video and I want to see how much extra bullion that I can get from these two pieces just selling both of these let's see if how many more ounces of silver or if the price is right let's see if I can get some gold out of this for just $17 for these two Let's see if I can flip that into some gold or maybe five, six, seven ounces. So stay right here. It'll be a while for me because I got to make the trip to the LCS. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here I am back from the coin store and I'm pretty happy with what I got. So I went ahead and I took those coins, the 2013 reverse proof and the 2013 enhanced proof. And I flip them into more eagles. That's right. So I ended up just buying one of them and then outright. And then the rest was just from that $17 that I spent. And let's get them open here. All right. And these are pretty good looking coins. They're not, you know, brand new 2020s, but hey. You know what I mean? It's all about the bullion, guys. And that's what I'm all about. And if I could take something that's collectible that somebody else wants and turn two ounces into five ounces, that's a win in my book. You know what I mean? That's a great way to add more weight to your stack. So that's what I am all about as of right now. Now, whenever I have enough weight, sure, you know, 
maybe I'll get back into collecting. But here's a 2018. And you guys know that I love my even years for some reason. I don't know why, but here is another 2018. And stay right here, guys. I also have a package that I got in the mail today that I wasn't expecting. So a very quick shipping. And here it is. So I will open that up in just one second. Just let me show you these eagles that I got. Here's another 2018. And here is a 2016. And this was the last time that $20 silver was up. So isn't that ironic? I guess someone came in and cashed in their 2016s that they overpaid for. Or that they paid for back then. And they decided to break even and come in and cash them out. So yeah, pretty happy about that. Like I said, more weight going in the stack. Got the tube right there. Let me get this open and I will show you what it is. And I'm pretty excited about it. I've seen these on other channels and I have to say, man, from what I saw, good looking coin. And it is not a North American coin, so. Let's get this out. All right. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. It is pretty. Let's see if I can get it out of this wrapper. And I got this off of Liberty. And the cool thing about Liberty is, is they are competitive as far as your prices go. Sometimes... They have things that your major bullion dealers do not have. And check it out. Oh, yeah. It is gorgeous. Here we go. It is a 1915 restrike of the Ducat. And look at that thing. Woo. Beautiful. Look at that. So this is only one tenth of an ounce. It's actually a little bit more than a tenth of an ounce. And just for comparison's sakes, let's do this. I have a one tenth ounce right here of an American Gold Eagle, just to give you a little comparison. So this one it has a larger diameter, but it is actually thinner. It's real thin, razor thin, razor thin. I wonder how big this is compared to a quarter ounce. Let's see. Because I have one of those handy right here also. So yeah, pretty comparable. So it's a thinner coin. It's actually a little bit more gold in it than the American Gold Eagle, the 10th ounce. I think it is 0 0.1106, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I will put a little note right there wow isn't that nice just a beautiful coin and this is a 1915 restrike so i don't know exactly when it was restruck it looks brand new so i doubt it was in 1915 so look at that thing wow gorgeous gorgeous so yeah Adding to the stack one piece at a time, taking advantage of what is out there. That is what it's all about, guys. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about getting as much bullion as possible for as little money as possible. And I highly advise you guys to do the same thing. Now, if you can find things on eBay or people selling things nearby that's kind of like those silver eagles where you know that you can get a certain dollar amount for them and snatch them up on the cheap then you can turn some of that profit from selling that into more bullion for your stack it's a great way to increase your stack you know you don't always have to just flip things like your bullion that is for keeping, holding, and possessing. 
Now you're semi-numismatic and you're numismatic. If you're a stacker, if you're just a straight bullion stacker, it's not as important. So things like that maybe will be important to me later on in life. But as of right now, I'm all about accumulating weight. And that's what this main driver of this video was about. I got lucky. I paid $17 for those uh, Silver Eagles. And man, I walked out the door with five Silver Eagles once I just traded it in. Now, could I have gotten more if I sold them on the secondary market? Absolutely. But I did two things. I didn't have to wait for shipping, right? I didn't have to go to the post office, package it all up, sell it lose a little bit of money in the fees, right? And then have to worry about it getting shipped to somebody. I took it to my LCS. He's going to make a little bit of money on that. In return, he's going to probably further down the road, remember stuff like that. And he's going to give me better deals as well. So it's a win-win and it's easy, hassle-free. So you just got to be on the lookout for things like that and jump on them when you see them. That's what it's all about for me. Increasing my stack for as little bit of money as possible, just like this. And if you don't believe that it's possible, there's tons of stackers out there that do it. That's all they do is they just buy, flip, buy, flip, buy, flip. And their stack, it just grows exponentially. And it is a great way to do it. It's a great way to add more weight to your stack. I know a lot of people only buy and they hold forever. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's your jam, by all means, stay with it. But for me, if I could sell some numismatic things that I really don't need and turn it into some profit, make some more bullion, that's what I'm going to do. And it's pretty easy. There's always someone out there willing to buy it, especially right now, because a lot of your new people are going to be flooding in with the silver going up the way that it has. Well, that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, keep grinding on your stack.